Uh, it is a thing that I would like to share how to obtain the p-value using chi-square cumulative distribution function with the aid of Keyshare calculator. We have to bear in mind that chi-square cumulative distribution function evolved gamma function, which we may not learn at the particular point of time. That's why most of the time, let's say we are asked to use a p-value approach to conclude a particular hypothesis testing, we are allowed to use statistical software. Software. But let's say we want to make use of calculator, then this is the method. For example, let's say we already determined that the chi-square value is equal to 7.879 with degree of freedom 1. Then from the chi-square table, of course, we are able to obtain the p-value, which is 0 0.05. From here, we can see that with degree of freedom 1, the chi-square value 7.879, we obtain p-value 0.05. We have to bear in mind that cumulative frequency dis cumulative distribution function is the one that cumulates from the left-hand side. The p-value is the region on the right-hand side. So we, when we obtain the p-value, we should 1 minus the value. For the calculator, if let's say we want to obtain this value, then we have to make use of the integration function in the calculator. So from here, we can see that for f 7.879 degree of freedom 1, then we should obtain, make use of the function here, this is the lower incomplete comma function. So we make use of the integral integrate, we have x, x is the i square value, so 7.879 over 2 from 0, then we have t, k, k is the degree of freedom which is 1, then over 2 minus 1, then e to the power negative t, dt. So let's say we are not familiar with t because we don't have t here, we can make use of x. So it's equal to 7.879 over 2 in degree from 0 to this number, then t half minus 1, which is negative half, and e negative t dt. Now what we need to do here is remember to divide the denominator part. So we have gamma function, k is degree of freedom, which is 1 for this case, over 2. And then we have to bear in mind that gamma half is equal to square root of pi. So we just have to divide square root of pi for this case. Let's make use of the integration function in the calculator. So we input, since this is negative, we want to make your fraction also the same method. So we have e negative x, we just make use of x since this is x here. Then we have x to the power of 0 0.5. Then we want to integrate from 0 to 7.879 over 2. So from here, we just have to press equal and we will realize that we obtain mat error. This is because we have to bear in mind that this is the reciprocal, so 1 over t. If t is equal to 0, 1 over t we obtain undefined. So which means that this is mat error. So to solve this Problem, we just have to put a very very small number instead of 0. So we can make use of 0 0.0000000001. We put as many zeros as possible in order to obtain accurate value. So we just press equal then we should obtain. We have to wait for some time especially we are using physical calculator. For Emulated is faster because it's computer based. For physical calculator, of course, will be slower. So we just give some time to the calculator before we obtain the value. 
once we obtain the value what we have to do divide divide square root of point and we should obtain 0 0.994999 4999765 which is approximately equal to 0 0.995 as we can see here in order to obtain the alpha value alpha we know that which is the p value we should differentiate alpha from p value so alpha is the significance level so p value is equal to the probability that the chi square is greater than 7.879 with degree of freedom 1. So from here we can see that we what we want is towards the right hand side. So which means that this part. But what we obtain is this part. We know that total probability is equal to 1. So we have 1 minus 0 0.995 which is equal to 0 0.005 which is what we can obtain from the chi-square table. Okay, let's take another example. For the second example, now we have degree of freedom equal to 25. So for 25, what we have to do for the denominator part, this one we have to be careful. So gamma, the gamma value, 1 over 2 plus n must be equal to what we have here is 25 for this case. So which means that what we need, because as we can see, according to the cumulative function, this degree of freedom is divided by 2. So which means that we have to take over 2. Then from here, we have to think of value so that when we refer to the left hand side, it's exactly the same. So we can determine what is the value of n. To determine n, we can take 25 divided by 2 minus 1 over 2 or minus 0 0.5. And we should obtain 12. So which means that n is equal to 12 for this case so 1 over 2 plus 12 so which means that according to the formula that we have here we have 2 times 12 factorial over 4 to the power of 12 times 12 factorial times square root of pi which is equal to so we just have to make use of the calculator 2 times 12 factorial so we need bracket 2 times 12 factorial so we have here over 4 power 12 then we times 12 factorial and we times square root of and we obtain this number 13 is 13 million 136 million 843,000 and 365.5 Okay, then we just have to store this value to let's say A. So later we can make use of the store value. So we don't have to type again a, a very long number. So based on what we need now is the cumulative value. So we have 14.61125 is equal to make use of the function the in lower incomplete gamma function so x is 14.611 divided by 2 start from 0 so again if let's say we obtain negative value for this part then we have to put a very small number instead of 0 so we should have t now we should have 25 degree of freedom is 25 over 2 minus 1 then e to the power of negative t dt 
Then the whole thing we divide the gamma function 25 over 2. So which is equal to, so we again make use of the integral, so the integration function. So 25 over 2 minus 1 is positive. So we have, of course we can first determine what is the value, 25 over 2 minus 1 which is equal to 23 over 2. So we have the integration. We have t which is x over 23 over 2 then times e to the power of negative t which is x for this case. Then we can use 0 for this case since this is not the denominator, so it will reach undefined. So 14.611 over 2. And we should obtain the value. Then we can straight away divide the value using the value that we store, which is A. So we obtain 0 0.0499914443. Which is approximately equal to 0 0.05. Again, if let's say we want to obtain the p value, we just have to take 1 minus 0 0.05, which is equal to 0 0.95, as we can see here. How let's say the value cannot be obtained from the chi square table, then we just have to make use of this method, then we are able to obtain the p value. Let's try for this example, as we can see, the degree of freedom is an even number. When we have even number, then we should be very happy because we don't have to use this anymore. So what we have to do here is gamma 6, as we can see, what we need is k over 2. 6 over 2 is equal to 3. Then gamma is basically the factorial, which is 3 minus 1 factorial as we have 2 factorial then we should have the value of 2 now we press it to the lower incomplete gamma function so we have the cumulative function 9.334 with degree of freedom 6 is equal to integrate so x is 9.334 divided by 2 start from 0 then we have T, K is 6 for this case, degree of freedom. So we can straight away type 6 over 2. Then what we need is minus 1. So again, we obtain positive value. So for positive value, we can straight away start from 0. This is a method. Then E to the power of negative T, DT. Then the whole thing we over 2, the gamma value. So we can write properly so gamma 6 over 2 so we should have in the grade 9 in the grade x power 2 times e to the power of negative x from the interval 0 to 9.3 divided by 2 and we should obtain 1.688 something then we divide 2 so we obtain 0 0.8443529926 which is approximately equal to 0 0.844 if we round to three decimal places so which means that the p-value is equal to P, the chi square for degree of freedom 6, which is greater than 9.334. This is right hand side, this region, but what we obtain is the left region. So, which means that we have to take 1 minus 0 0.844. Then we should obtain 1 minus 0 0.844. And we have 0 0.156 and we 
done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you